So hello everybody, welcome to this live stream. We are here in a very special city, we are in the city of Rotterdam. This is the main port of Europe and from this place a lot of goods will be shipped to all over the world. So nice that you are here. And we are also in a very special building here. And uh, we are here in the building of the company named Spark. And Spark is the company that has been taking part of the design of this uh, shower trolley. They are an international designing and product development company. And later on I will ask Robert, who is the owner of this company, to join us to do some, uh, some uh, explanation about the trolley in a special way. But first I want to do, tell to you that we also have a moderator and her name is Kim and she is sitting in a special room for the live chat. So if you have questions, please ask questions and we will try to answer them during this special presentation of the trolley where we are so proud of. So, Robert, can I ask you to join us? Of course, René, ah. and uh, most welcome here. Most welcome to you as well. No, thank you very much. Just to tell you, Robert is uh, 25 years already that we know each other. Yes. And in this 25 True. years, he did yeah. develop uh, quite a lot of products for L'Hopital yes. also. Yes. So we have a very special history <laughs> together. And Now, today, you are going to do a special presentation of the trolley in a virtual reality. And we True. are very curious how this will look like. So yes. please, the stage is yours and we see each other later. Well, thank you, René. My pleasure, my pleasure. Um, what René was telling, indeed, we are a very special place in Rotterdam. And not only goods were sent from here, but in the 50s and 60s, uh, people from the Netherlands emigrated to South America and Canada from here. So it's a long history here. Um, and now these days we are very proud we can use this building for Spark Design and Innovation for our design and products. Um, what's happening here is technical innovations, integral product development, design, actually everything what also belongs to the marina. So we are very proud we can also show the marina in this context over here. And to do that, I also want to introduce my colleague, Maxine. Hello, Maxine. Welcome. Maxine is product designer at Spark Design Innovation, but she's also a specialist in virtual reality. And we would like to introduce you, to bring you to our studio of virtual reality. Uh, Maxine shows you here our studio, virtual studio, and you, uh, she's looking around it. And you can see what she is seeing. And you see a lot of actually marinas, a lot of bankers standing there, shower trolleys standing there. But we now go to the very beginning of the birth of the marina. And it all comes together in, in the integral cut systems. After a lot of testing, testing with users, testing with professional, testing with mechanical properties, everything comes together in the cut systems. And this is the way how it goes to production afterwards. And now I would like you to introduce to, 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 to introduce you to look to the birth of the marina. There she really comes out of the system as the real life, new, very innovative product, the marina. And of course we have the very small version over here, but in our virtual studio, we have also the actual sizes product, the electrical version, and the hydraulic version. First we go to the next room in our virtual studio. This is the electric version. And what you can see here, for example, right away, that the mattress can come off. And that's, that's very, very important. But you can clean the mattress, you can clean the whole shower trolley. It's very hygienic. And you cannot see it, but I will tell you, the whole frame, the whole shower trolley is made from aluminum. That's why it is very light, very light, very easy to use, uh, high functionality, but it has a very small footprint because of that. So sustainability is a very important part of the design of the marina. 
we go to the next next room in our virtual studio. There you see the hydraulic version of the marina. And this is an exploded view. And, and right away what you can see is the logic frame, everything comes together. And also that it is also very easy to maintain. You can replace the parts by new parts and you have a long endurance of the product. Again, I want to focus on the, on the frame and the strength on the frame. Later on we will tell you about all the properties and how the functionalities in this car. But the frame is very strong and that is a, a, a high impact strength and we tell about you later. Now we go to the very last room in our virtual studio and now you see six different marinas. Actually two models, the electric version and the hydraulic version. And each version has three sizes in one product. And that is very handy because you can make the right size for what is suitable for you. So we have six products, but actually there are two models. And we are going to show you this later. But this is the end of the virtual well, uh, presentation. I really would like to thank Maxime for showing us in the virtual reality studio. And now to show you the three sizes for one model, we show you the next clip. Okay, people, we are back in the studio, and uh, here is the trolley live. And we want to explain to you now all the features. But before I do that, I want to invite you that to Kees van Dam, who is my business partner and owner also of L'Hopital, and who is also the main person for the product development of this shower trolley. Kees, welcome. Thank you, René. Welcome. And welcome, everybody. I'm happy to be here. And uh, Case, what we will do is we will explain the trolley, and I think the best is to start with the base, and from there on we build up the, the story. Yes, okay? we do that. Okay, we start with the base, and the base starts with the wheels. And the wheels has a good diameter of 150 millimeters that make it great to drive and to manoeuvre your shower trolley. Above that you have the pendle, the blue one, and you can put it on the block the wheels, and the wheels are blocked in a semi, uh, semi uh, blocking system. So that is on one side, stop the stretcher. And in the other direction, you go to the wheel, what is blocked in one side, you can drive direct, easy, in a long way. Okay, okay, so that means that there is a lot of control over the trolley. Yeah. And what is important in this matter is, of course, that we have we're suffering in all the nursing homes and hospitals of back problems for the nurses. And in this case, and in this product, we have tried to integrate all the features to avoid back problems for the nurse because they are such a valuable, valuable asset to uh, the hospitals and nursing homes that we have to take care of them and also, of course, to the safety of the patients. Um, Kees, uh, can you tell something yeah, about the yeah. frame? You see a lot of changes in the frame now. Uh, we use now a frame, we have a curve here in the, in the aluminium part and that means that it is very strong. It's strong, so strong that we have also a cross frame that the max load of this shower trolley is 227 kilograms. Okay, so 227 kilograms is the same as 500 LBS for yeah. our U US and Canadian viewers. Yeah. And that there's a question from the market always. Okay. There is a question. Yes, okay, that's nice. Please <laughs> ask the question. Okay, uh, there's a question about the sticker on the front. Can you tell something about it? Okay, the sticker, uh -huh. yeah, that's very important. 
uh, we have fulfilled all the international laws and standards. So, one of them this year is the MDR, the Medical Device Regulation. And we have fulfilled all the standards and requirements about that kind of things. A shower trolley is a level one product. But in the sticker, you see a small type of drawing. And that drawing will say, here is my unique product number. That is the UDI code. After that, there is the production code. And after that, there is the product number and identification. That's important for you as a user, because you can see where is your product, and you can simple scan the product with your mobile phone and read it where it is and what it is. So, yes. two points, fulfill the national standards, and it is always findable in your, where it is. Okay, thank you. Um, you see that there is a cross scissor frame, so the, the shower trolley is going up and uh, going down in a straight way. In this way, we are saving space, which is very important because there are also a lot of smaller bathrooms. And by saving the space, we still have an internal size, which is big enough to really have all the patients uh, very comfortable in the trolley. Um, case, uh, the, how, the, the difference between the height and the load, how much is that? Yeah, the difference between the height and the low is 50 centimeters. Okay. For 45 till 95 centimeters. And it is up and down raising in around about uh, 35 seconds. Okay. Um, maybe you can explain a little bit about the top frame and the sh especially the sidebars yeah. because they are looking really new now. The sidebars are really new and we are very proud about this kind of material. We make the choice for a plastic material. And you see the hand grips is friendly, uses friendly, and it is also warm in the space where the shower trolley is. Yeah, you see the same here and you see the same hand grips on the headrest and the foot end of the stretcher. If you go back to the side rail, the side rail is lower, has a lower part here. So if you take care and washing, cleaning, drying your client, then you are closer and it is good for your back. Mm -hmm. how, your back how, do you, how do you open the trolley? The opening of the trolley is a special red handle. You can pull it and then it is coming down. And you see what a lot of space you have now. Okay, so because of the width that we are now adjusting, you can see it, it's 115 centimeters wide. We have made also an obese product for this in this way. Uh, uh, the trolley can uh, hold the 227 kilos, but not only hold it, it is alro already have the space in it. And that's also crucial to really say we can carry heavy people. Um, okay, yeah, so how you do you lower the sidebars? Yeah, we lower the sidebars again. You push the handle and then it's going down. And see, it is completely free and you can stand here and take care of your patient. And you can also make your horizontal transfer for a bed, for example, or a wheelchair, or any other thing. It is high lowering, it's no mattress. It's in this way, it's, it's always going fine, and we listen to the remarks you make and you feed back to us. Maybe we can close the sidebars again. Yeah, we close it again. You do it in two steps, one and two. Okay. okay so, uh, we have the mattress, um, but the water has to go down. How are we doing that? Yeah. We have to go in down and we make an anti trendenburg handle here. And you can use it on both sides of the session. That's important. Where is it standing? You can do it left and on the right side. And then it is four degrees down. Yep. And the water is going into the flow and there are small channels in the mattress that lets the water flow to the drain. Okay, some extra additional information about the mattress. Um, it is flame retardant and it's also antibacterial. O again, for this hygiene subject, which is I I very crucial nowadays in the COVID period we are living in, but also after that, that we can clean it very well, but that bacteria do not uh, can stick on the mattress. There is a question, is that correct? That's correct. There is a new question. Um, is it possible for a patient to open the side rail? 
Uh, okay, thank you, Kim. Uh, no, it is not possible to open the side rail by a patient because it is situated so far away from the, from the patient that uh, it can only be uh, used by the nurse or the staff who is helping the person in the trolley. Okay? Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, we have one more thing, René. Okay. The coating on the aluminium frame. Mm -hmm. It's a bacterial, antibacterial coating. Inside of the coating, there is a silver ion, and that will dye the bacteria if it arrived on your frame. So also in this time, in this COVID time, but also other times, it's important the cleaning and disinfection your stretcher. Great. And we are the only company in the world who is doing that. Let's go to the electronic parts. We yeah. have uh, a battery and a battery charger. So on the back of this trolley, there is the battery and there is the uh, hand control. The battery can be charged outside of the bathroom, so you can use an, a wall charger, and you don't have to charge your trolley in the bathroom anymore. Beside that, we have the hand control, which is having a very simple and clear indication of how to go up and how to go down, and also to have a battery indication how much uh, power is still in the battery. Beside that, we have our new future feature, which is the adjustable backrest. And the adjustable backrest can go electric into uh, 25 degrees, but can stop on any position that you want, uh, which is comfortable for the, the person in the trolley. René, we have another question. Okay. Kim, please come in. Yes, there's a question about cleaning. Uh, how easy is it to clean? Okay. Well, we did show it a little bit in the virtual reality uh, video that it is very easy to remove the mattress. But uh, so with only two clips, you can remove the mattress and uh, therefore you can clean it uh, in a very short period of time. Uh, again, uh, in this way, people are going to do it instead of leaving it and uh, that dirt will stay behind. Okay, thank you. Stability? Uh, yeah, yeah, the stability. Uh, the frame, we have a wide frame, and we have the cross frame, the big wheels, and that means that we have a big stability on the shower trolley. René will show that, what he can do there. Look, this is real stable, and it fulfills also all the requirements for testing, etc. From the electronic part, René, yeah. We have to say something more. Yes, there is, of course, an important issue that uh, you can drop this hand control also in the water because it's IPX6, uh, so completely closed for the water. Yeah, and also the control box has the same IPX6. The same ID6. Six. Okay. Yes. Um, we have uh, also the hydraulic version. So we have the... Uh, uh, the shower trolley deluxe electric, and we have the shower trolley deluxe hydraulic. hydraulic. I show you how it is working. Here in the middle, we have a hydraulic pump, and you can easy to move your leg. And it is also used on both sides of the shower trolley. So where it is standing, you can always use it. The same for leather. To lower the shower trolley, it's easy, it's no power. You can find it out. The same feature as on the electric one, you can have here for the water flow. And the backrest, I, I finished it first, then we come back to Kim, okay? The backrest, you can, it's a gas spring, you can stop when you want, it's also 25 degrees. Kim. So we have a new question about the battery. Uh, is the battery that powers the unit rechargeable and removable? Um, yes, the, the, the battery is removable and uh, with a full battery you have 45, when it's fully charged, you have 45 uh, times that you can bring the trolley up and down, but you can also work with two batteries that you have one on the wall and the other one on the trolley. So you have always a solution and then the trolley is always at the moment that you need it is ready for use. Okay. I think case that uh, with the, the orders, maybe there are some more questions, I don't know, but uh, please come in if you have more questions. Kim? 
Uh, yes. What is the lifespan of the stretcher? Yes, that's a nice one. Uh, the lifespan of the stretcher is uh, 10 years. And uh, what we think is always important to have one year, uh, one times a year, the maintenance of the products. But because it is based with very simple components, it, the, the cost will be very low of that. And uh, uh, the 10 year, uh, year lifespan is something you can guarantee to your customers. You see here two type of what we show today. That is the Marina, the luxury, electric, and the hydraulic one. We have also a, a more simple version, that's the basic one. And the basic one is delivered without the semi-central brake system and without the headrest adjustability. Uh, adjustability. The rest of the features is into your, uh, into your shower trolley. Yes, I think that we can say that we have a beautiful product and we are very proud of this product and that this shower trolley will uh, make all other shower trolleys obsolete and ir irrelevant. So, um, oh, there is still another question. Thank you very much. Please come in, Kim. Yes, there's a new question. Uh, with the previous marina, the deck was plastic. Just to confirm, the new deck is all aluminium? The total shower trolley is uh, in combination of aluminium, uh, plastic and uh, stainless steel. So there is... Uh, uh, all very uh, well uh, materials that are sustainable and also the aluminium parts can be uh, reused in the future. So we are also looking to the environment for the future. Yeah. Yes. Um, what is the delivery time? Ah, that's a great uh, question, of course, because that means that people are getting enthusiastic. Uh, well, we can tell you that uh, the production is, st is started up and that we will be able to deliver from the 1st of uh, January 2021. So please don't hesitate, send in your pre-orders. We look forward to that and we wish you a lot of success in the international market with the, the new product of L'Hopital. Thank you for uh, having attention. And uh, we think we can conclude now the total pr presentation. So we wish you all the best and uh, we look forward to see you very soon back. Bye-bye. Thank you.